It is January 30th, 2021. And in this video, I'm going over backups, having a backup of documents and items before you travel, as well as the latest update on Colombian currency. Follow along. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. My name is DC Born Rob. Again, we're going to go over having backups of certain items and documents that you know you're going to need for travel, as well as the Colombian currency update that I spoke of in my last video. You need to know what the dollars are and what the denominations are. So hopefully this video is helpful. With your help, we're trying to get this channel uh, better. The only thing that I ask for payment from you guys is like. <laughs> Likes help the YouTube algorithm. And I also want to say that we are hiring. We have done some hiring before and some of our employees in the past, you may or may not have seen them. Depends on how long you've been watching my videos. But I want to say thank you to, for instance, the mayor of Houston, Sylvester Rob Turner. I truly don't know how they're going to survive unless they get 25% rent, but I guess that's here nor there. And also to Rob, our man about town, so that means things like uh, sports such as tennis and golf or any other sports where the, you know, it's the same household can get out there, no more than four. So get that fifth baby back in the house. And to Roberto, crazy legs out in California. Mi canales, Joker, Lou Joker, Puppy, Lou Puppy, man, I made it, you know what I'm saying? And don't forget Mo Black up at the prison. So listen, my name is Mo Black, okay? Mo Black. Well, it ain't really my name because I don't want nobody know I'm on here. So my face is blacked out, right? And of course, everybody knows Cool Man. Cool Man said, keep up the good work. You all right. That's right. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. So let's just jump right in to what you need as backups. And I just have a few ideas for you. So hopefully this is helpful again. Okay, first thing, battery backups, a backup to keep your phone charged. It's nothing gonna be worse than landing at MDE or El Dorado or wherever, and your phone is dead and you can't call for a ride or you can't call to hook up with Andres if you're using him for your driver. Remember, his information will be below if you need a driver or a tour while you're there. But have a, have a battery backup that you can charge while you're on the plane. As a matter of fact, have a backup to that backup. I have a couple that I carry with me no matter where I'm going. Okay, battery backups, number one. Number two, a backup copy, a photocopy of your passport. So you can have your passport, yeah, but have a, a photocopy of your passport as well as if you are ordering a new passport, when it asks you, do you just want the passport or do you want a passport card? Say you want a passport card as well. This is supposed to be only useful when you're crossing into Mexico and into Canada, but I've used it for every excursion. I mean, it doesn't matter if I was jumping off the side of the mountain there, or I'm in Italy, or it doesn't matter. Every country is going to ask for your passport when you want to do something to sign up for. And I've used this every time, never had any issues. On a side note, I want to say thank you to my subscribers who have let me know about the Pico y Cedula in Medellin right now. They're saying that they're, the guys are not hassling them at all. The guys at the door, the police or whomever, the employees aren't hassling them at all with using their driver's license from the state that they're from. Or if they don't have their passport, just tell them, hey, I'm American. You know, and they say, oh, OK, let the gringo go on by. So they're saying that it's not that strenuous. Now, I also want to emphasize that's not 100 percent, but they're saying that there's no issue. So thank you guys for passing it on. Anybody who is there or has been there recently and has practical experience, please pass this on. You know, watch the comments and help each other out. I'm trying to build a community here where you guys can help each other as well as me offering uh, some information. But okay, so you have a, a photocopy of your passport as a backup. Uh, or you also have your driver's license with you because they may take the last digit off of that if that's all you have and you didn't bring it with you. They're probably not gonna turn you away. But also have a copy of your negative test result. It's supposed to be either electronic or paper. I would have both. I would have it electronically and make sure you have your battery to charge your phone because nothing worse than having a dead one. You can't use the electronic version. So also have a backup. I print and I used to travel for business. I would print two copies of everything. 
One's in my luggage and one is in my backpack or my um, briefcase. So think ahead, make sure you have a copy of your COVID-19 test before you go there, your PCR test since you're heading there. And coming back, I'd do the same thing. Just print out a couple of copies in your uh, hotel. Um, also, uh, a phone, a charged phone, might I add. By the way, if you're in the airport and you're getting ready to board and you're heading out of the country, charge your phone there. Charge your phone at the airport so when you get on, at least you want to watch movies or whatever, you have a charge when you land. I'm telling you, when you get there, you're going to want to make a phone call, whether it's to a, uh, an Uber or to Andres or whomever. You may try to communicate with them and say, hey, we're running behind, we're running late. So have a cell phone, have a backup cell phone in case that first cell phone comes up missing. Cell phones are good. Make sure you download WhatsApp. Everybody uses WhatsApp. It doesn't matter, business or not. Everyone uses WhatsApp down there, so make sure, you, make sure you have a WhatsApp number. Okay, so phones, chargers, make sure you have a charger. You have a phone charger and you have a backup phone charger. These are all suggestions. You're going to do what you won't do. I know, but I'm saying have some backups. Be ready when things don't go perfectly because sometimes they don't, so be prepared. Okay, also ink pens. Ink pens are perfect. You know what? You're going to need it on a plane when it, they have you fill out that little declaration. Uh, you may need to sign the attestation there. Who knows? You need an ink pen. You need a backup to the ink pen. You know why? While I was writing down my notes just a little while ago, this one stopped working. Also, you're walking up a, a back alley somewhere. I'm just saying. I always carry ink pens with me. No one else has to touch it. You know, everybody wants you to touch their pen. Then you got to go sanitize, carry your own pens. You ain't got to worry about it. Okay, ink pens. Um, attestation document. Make sure you have to remember you have to show up with your uh, PCR test and your attestation. So make sure you fill out that attestation coming back, coming back to the U.S. You need a copy of that. So have two copies, one on each one, one in your bag, one in your pocket. You're straight. OK, and glasses, if you wear glasses and I'm trying to think of some things that are not easily or readily available there or things that are going to cost more there. Not everything is cheaper. OK, things coming from the States are going to cost more there. So if you wear glasses and you need them to read, have a separate extra set of glasses to go with you. OK, so also later in this video, after I go over the uh, currency, and the different denominations and the value and the rate the dollar is right now. I'm going to show you a video that I did a while ago. So stick around to the end if you want to see it. If you've ever watched 60 Days In where people go to jail, I did one called 60 Minutes In. It has to do with restaurants reopening. So check that out at the end. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's just jump right to the money. Hey, what, gentlemen, right now you're watching DC Born Rob on YouTube. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. So there's a few different denominations in coins and a few different denominations in bills, but please recognize some of the bills are different for, a same, for the same denomination. In other words, you may see two different types of two meal. They look like a $2 bill, but it's, it's two meal. One meal is a thousand. Any, anytime you hear meal, it's a thousand. So 20 mil is 20,000. Actually, a million is uh, pronounced millones. So let's go over a few of the coins first. So first, uh, a thousand, let me see, a thousand uh, pesos. The, the Colombian peso is called COP, Colombian peso. And if you look at this one, for some strange reason, it's actually... It looks like they're two stuck together. I actually tried to pull them apart. It's, I still think you should get two for that. Anyway, um, so that's the thousand. So also there's 500, the next most valuable one, which when you see the value, and not uh, too valuable, but this is a 500 peso. Um, and I've seen them only in this one type, I think, so far. And then... Uh, 200 peso, but if you look at this 200 versus this one, they're different. It's different in size and a different coin. And as you can see, I don't spend these a lot. I just get them as change and I bring them back. I mean, sometimes I'm able to use it, but for the most part, it's not even worth the struggle while you're trying to purchase something. So then I have uh, 100, 100 peso. Now 100 
comes in two also that I've seen. So here's another hundred. And then I have fifty. Come on. Try not to knock everything over. And then I have a, a fifty. And I have two different types of fifties. These are about the size of a dime. So let's go over the bills too, and I'll tell you what everything's worth. So the highest bill that I carry is a 50. It's 50 mil. See, 50 mil pesos. Um, again, some of the bills you'll see it, it may say 50000. So that's 50,000. 50 mil equals 50,000. Uh, the next lowest one I have is a 20. And this I know comes in a couple different versions. So this is 20 mil pesos, sometimes called 20,000 pesos. Um, I have the 10. I've seen the 10 in a couple, I believe. This is 10 mil, so 10,000. Then there's 5,000. Now, I made a mistake on this earlier, taking a train. I gave the guy 50 mil instead of this uh, 5 mil, which I thought. So as you can see, it doesn't say 50, it doesn't say 5 mil. It's actually 5,000. There's a couple of different types of these bills. And the same with, I have a two. There's also a 1,000 bill, which comes in a couple of different variations also. But here's two mil. This one's, uh, again, it says two mil instead of two zero zero zero, like 2,000. Okay, let's jump in because I need to get you some up-to-date information. Let's start with the highest bill again. And this is January 29th. So as of now, that 50,000 mil pesos or 50 mil uh, pesos COP is worth $14 in the U.S. right now. Okay, be careful with these 50s. You could give a, exchange a 50 again for a 5,000, so be careful. You start seeing zero, zero, zeros, and you're normally used to just seeing the 50, and you may get confused. But as of right now, again, January 29th, 2021, it is $14. Okay, next lowest is going to be the 20 mil pesos, 20,000. That's five dollars and sixty cents right now. Okay, next down is the 10 mil peso. Again, you may see 10,000, 10, 000, 000, 000. So don't make a mistake when you're giving change. 10 mil right now is two dollars and eighty cents. So not that you figure 10 million is a lot of money, but that's not even three dollars. So this 5,000, again, instead of saying 5 mil, it says 5,000. That's worth a dollar 40 right now, exactly half the 10 mil. And then the 2 mil pesos, again, it doesn't say 2,000, but I think there is another one that does say 2,000, and that's worth 56 cents right now. So you got to be careful when you're giving these monies. This is why I'm doing this, is because you need to be ready for this. And, you know, when it comes crunch time and you're having to pay for something, you give up something the wrong way. Okay, so this is the uh, largest one. I think this is uh, 1,000, 1 mil peso. Okay, that's 28 cents, believe it or not. Then you have the 500 mil peso. That's 14 cents right now. So you think about it, these coins gather up and they come in different variations. So this is a 500, but you may see it in a different format, but very difficult to spend at four, 14 cents. I mean, come on. Okay, and after the uh, 500 peso is the 200 mil peso or yeah, 200 peso, not mil, 200 peso, and that's 5.6 cents. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the value of the material is, but that's worth just the five and a half cents right there. And, you know, not too many places you're going to use these except for giving it out on the streets. Okay, the next one is your 100. 100 peso, and that's worth two and a half cents. So how far is that going to get you? Okay, and then you have this one, small one that looks like a dime. That's 50 pesos. 50 pesos is one cent. So I don't you know what you're going to do with this money. Not, not much. But there you go. Now, the Civica card is something that is used for the Metro. This one right here is actually rechargeable. You can get two different ways. 
This one's rechargeable. You go and you pay at the station and you say, I want to put 20 mil peso on this card. And it's roughly like 70 something cent right now to take a metro train one direction and get off. But this one is reusable. So you like slide it on a little deal before you go through. Doors, little gate things open up, just like the metros here. You ride that train. But this one right here is actually a one-time use. You know, you'll see a lot of people standing in line to get this one-time use. Dude, just put 20,000, you know, 20 mil peso on the card so you don't have to deal with this card. But you, you go up and you, you know, you rub it on that little deal like that. And then it lets you in. What I didn't know is the first time, and hence the reason I still have this card, I went in and did that and it wouldn't let me out. So I had to go buy another card. But what it, it's a one-use card. I didn't know. So I went, I thought I could get back out. No, that's just one way. <laughs> so, so now you got to get back the other way and you, you sl scan it and you put it in a slot and then they keep it and reuse it. So that card is actually reusable. So it's a little more dingy, but the, the green one you can recharge and you're good. And I think the, the, one of the cards costs like uh, five mil peso to buy. So think about that when you're going down and take the Metro by all means i mean it's worthwhile so there you go there's understanding money i hope this helps let me know if you have any questions just a reminder if you need a driver if you need a pickup from the airport a drop off to the airport a ride to get your pcr test or your rapid test while you're there or you want to take tours check out my man andres his information will be below and a link to his website, Nomad Travel. Check him out. From the makers of 60 Days In and the first 48 comes the groundbreaking new series, 60 Minutes In. I am Warden. Will Robbins, and in this series, we're going from the prison to the restaurant. What we're going to show this season is the reopening of restaurants during the COVID-19 epidemic. Is it time to open? Is it not time to open? Will the contestants be able to stay in the restaurant for more than 60 minutes. In this season, we'll see if the contestants can deal with all the washing, all the cleaning, the food, the other people, the service, without having to tap out. In this season, we've chosen a different tap out and to tap out, they will need to put their hand on their chest and their hand in the air. That's the hand on the chest, the other hand in the air. Then they have tapped out. Okay, it's okay to sit right here? Okay, thank you. Okay. How you doing? What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good. I think it's not good, a good man. job. Hey, can I take my mask off? Yeah, take okay. your mask off. How you gonna eat? You're right. You're right, yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at the chicken. Okay, I'm look, looking at the chicken here, man. Gotcha. And you know, hey. Hey, man. Why are you, they don't give you mask here, man? No mask? And your, the apron, man, why are your apron so tight, man, and dirty? And what's with the fingers and the, the glove, man? The fingers are all out yeah. of the glove. That's crazy. This is crazy, is man. I can't take it. Okay. I, I tap the thing. Thing like that. What's on my apron? Out. Man. This is so crazy, man. I don't know how they do that. Okay, this one, this one not doing it, yeah. Thank you for the menu there, girl. What'd you say your name is? Well, all right, I'm gonna we'll see you out there. I'm finished dinner now. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Yeah, how you doing, brother? 
All doing right. good, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Yes, sir. I think I'm going to start with the cream of chicken soup. How about that? I love that cream of chicken soup. Sorry, sir. We don't have any chicken soup today. You ain't got no chicken soup? No, oh, sir. Lord, let me, okay. Sorry. I'm that there. Let me try a salad. The chef salad with the creamy ranch dressing. I'm um, sorry, sir. We don't have any salad today. You ain't got no salad. No, sir. What? Sorry. Oh, okay. Quarantine. How long? But let me just do a hamburger. Hamburger with cheese. That cheddar cheese there. Cheddar cheese that. And I want an onion. What? I'm sorry. We don't have any hamburger. You ain't got no hamburger. No, sir. We no don't have hamburger? any hamburger. No, quarantine. Well, uh, I'm out Lockdown. Here. What do you mean? I done tapped out. You ain't got tapped no out? hamburger. This place What's the out tapped out? Shut it down. Shut it down. Okay, thank you for the menu there. You know, come on, sit over there. <laughs> 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 I love it, man. Don't leave it. Oh, I'm no. Oh, no. Oh, Corona. Corona. We have a YouTube channel, like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.